Hey guys, Dave here, and today I'm going to check out a record player. I got it for my birthday. It's the 6-in-1 Nostalgic Entertainment Center by Innovative Technology. Now, I already opened it. It came well boxed, basically. There was two pieces of styrofoam on each side and it was wrapped in plastic, pretty straightforward. Now let's Well, let's start with look. the front. Basically everything, most of the controls are here. There's the phono CD, the auxiliary, and there's a FM tuner as well. Their tuning button is here. And volume is right here. Honestly, the uh, retro look of this thing, it's very authentic. Even the fabric covering the speakers, it reminds me of some of the old record players from when I was a kid and radios. There is a uh, the CD tray in the front here. Records go up top. There's a latch here to hold it open. Comes with the manual. The uh, turntable has instructions on it. It does come with spare audio cords. One good thing as well is it comes prepackaged with a protective cover for the needle. And in case you have 45s it does come with a holder and a 45 adapter now the uh, one thing that is kind of odd and I'm not sure why this is is the tape player is on the side now there aren't any uh, Controls for the tape deck other than this one button. I only have one cassette tape, and that is some Christmas music. Basically, to play a cassette, you have to put it in, and it just starts playing on its own. There is no uh, rewind or stop or pause, essentially. You could just fast forward, and that's it. Now this tape is old and uh, it doesn't sound so great, but I'll see if I can find another tape to test it out with. In the back. We uh, have this retro wood look still. It's actually quite nice. They didn't cheap out on the back either. And it does have a line out for All stereo right. sound. Let's try it out and hear how it sounds. First, I'm going to try a 45. Now, 45s play a little faster than the classic LP. Now, basically, you can tell a 45 because usually it's smaller and it has this larger hole in the opening. Now, this player does come with a 45 adapter. Put it in, put it down. Make sure your player is set to 45. Have it set to phono. As soon as you move the needle, it immediately starts turning. records in a dumpster a few years ago they are somewhat scratch however it is playing the 45 no problem and I'm sure if it was in a better condition than this it would sound a lot clearer 
Although with the record, you're always going to get a little bit of hissing and popping. Now let's try an LP. Which if you are a child of the 80s like myself, you'll recognize these. Honestly, I've never seen a 45 till I was older. Now this, which I found in a dumpster, is called Keep On Jumping. Never heard of it. But let's see what it sounds like. One thing too is make sure you have the speed set properly. As you can tell right now, it's kind of fast. I'll turn it to 33, which is the setting for most LPs. That record has a real 70s vibe. Next, and one thing that impressed me about this record player is it does come with a 78 setting, which is for older records. I found this in a dumpster as well, along with a few of them. It doesn't have a date on it, but it looks pretty old. It's uh, produced by his master's voice, Victor, which, as some of you might know the company by its more modern name, his master's voice, the shortened form of it is HMV. You might remember that chain of music stores from the 90s. Today, I believe it's owned by RCA. Now, this record does state that radio replay of it is prohibited however i'm not putting it on the radio i'm putting it on youtube and it doesn't specify anything about that and what we're listening to on this record is wagner tristan and isidol i'm sure wagner's long since dead so we don't have to worry about any copyrights and let's see what it sounds like So it plays that quite well. And one thing I noticed is in the 90s, late 90s, early 2000s, my mom had bought a record player and it only came with the 33 and 45 setting. So to see the 78 on here is nice. There is also a 16. Uh, it's pretty rare. You do see it on older record players, but to see that 78 on there is uh is good and i like that they have the three main settings on there now let's try the cd so i don't have a lot of cds really the only thing i could find is this star wars the empire strikes back so we're going to give that a try we'll throw in disc two And let's see while it reads the CD. So the CD does actually play quite well. It, it doesn't have any of the hissing and popping sounds like a record does. Now, 
the other medium that it plays that I had to look for, I found a newer tape. So let's throw it in and see how it sounds. That other tape I had earlier was pretty beat up. So, sounds a lot better. Now let's try the FM setting. It's been so long since I've used a manual tuner, but it does pick up FM no problem. And overall, I would say this is a great purchase for its price point. Honestly, it's well made. It does have that vintage vibe. One of the other things I liked about it was I live in an older house and it does come with the two-pronged plug for my older outlets, so it fits right in with a vintage home. And there's only one thing I think that it's missing is there are some record players out there you can get that come with a USB connection, so you can directly record your records onto MP3 format on your computer. However, it could still easily be achieved by using the earphone out and then plugging that in to your sound card or motherboard and then recording it as an mp3 in that way so i would recommend this product and again that is the six in one center by it so that concludes my review and thank you very much for watching